All right. We should be live again. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. I'm melting here, guys. It's very hot in my area, present time. They call it summer. Let's get started now. Hey there guys, we're back again live. What's up? Today, we find out who's crazy enough to deal with cards and magic when it's outside. So beautiful and warm and summery. The only real thing to do in a weather like this is hanging out at the beach with a cocktail, with a caipirinha or something. You know, do nothing. <laughs> But you guys are tuning in because you aren't nerds. <laughs> you want to know it. You want to do it. <laughs> We got Aaron Jerry in the house. Let's do this. Ambitious card routine time. That's right, Aaron. And welcome to the Odd Maniacs. You are the newest newcomer to the club of the crazy. Welcome and thank you so much for your pledge on Patreon. Rockin' awesome dude, amazing you're tuning in today. And then we got Dallas Taylor in the house, ready to rock. Hey Dallas, how, how, how is it going? Greetings Odd Marions, greetings Chad. Now, Walter Olsen is tuning in. Hello out there, I'm working, so maybe in and out, but excited for this awesome Walter. It's going to be a super relaxed session today. I'm gonna do this really slow and really mellow. Some nice techniques we're gonna talk about. And then of course, overall in general, what we're dealing with when we're talking about the ambitious card, the most famous plot in card magic. Yes, it is expert card technique by Jean Hugard and Frederic Bruet. It's a page. 283 following chapter 6, the ambitious card we're going to talk about today. And then we got George Anito in the house also. George, awesome you're tuning in. Doing great stuff on your YouTube channel. Awesome. Don Putlina is out there. Hello, Art Marius. Hello. And crazy challenges. I like nothing like a good old session. What is what you were saying here? Sitting on your own sweat with 52 pacewords. Right. I'm going to, oh, to open myself a, a new... Uh, A bicycle seconds today uh, because everything I've been working with now it, it, it's just you know it gets so sticky so fast because my hands are so sweaty and I hope there's not too much background noise for you guys because yeah Apply some <laughs> and Witfon Wit is with us again I just I just keep the, this meme, meme, meme going for this year guys um, I, I lost my train of thought already Uh, actually, now um, I've been I've been um, sitting here and doing what I'm doing the last two days um, all the time. I was shooting yesterday the tutorial on a proper dealing technique in preparation for a second and bottom dealing, um, which I promised, and I believe Dallas Taylor uh, definitely wanted to watch. <laughs> so this one goes out for you, babe. And then there is um, a tutorial on. Um, the um up the ladder um we just talked about the other day in one of these live streams right just shut them uh, uh raw cut them uh, raw edit them already just doing this uh today and yesterday so i'm just kind of feeling um you know uh, like kind of you know it's just what i do right now 
<laughs> and it's uh, that's pretty awesome. I'm really excited about um, about this chapter because yes, it, it's one of the uh, of the most famous plots, right? In card magic, the ambitious card. Everybody, um, you know, it's just it it's so classical. Uh, it's f for 200 years at least out there, and um, this is kind of in uh, everybody's repertoire in one way or another, especially. Um, of card magicians and you can you know um, play this really big time you can make a big deal out of it you can just incorporate it as a little bit of um, by play almost you know um, it's a very strong effect um, and there are a lot of different techniques um, in, uh, uh, involved in this res respectively uh, the effect of the ambitious card um, it can be achieved in uh, like so many other effects with so many different techniques and methods and we're going to talk about a little bit about this um we get we get a, a lot of material offered here but not so much actually we got the pop-up card which is one of the most um uh, famous uh um things you can do it's a really visual thing and we're gonna take a close look at this one today of course and i just realized there is a really really nice reverse um uh, embedded here in the chapter i want to talk about this also a little bit and and it's going to be a, a great session but we're going to take this really slow slow pace now um first of all uh, youtube has a new back end for streaming check it out now i got to chat here and then i got, can see everything is going on and um it's much uh, better than the, the the old one and they just you know took they had really they had a, had to do a lot of persuasive work to get me to the new thing because i'm a youtuber and i don't like changes <laughs> and whenever youtube ch changes something i feel personally offended even if it's better <laughs> um that that's one thing uh, but they um they changed something i hope they improved this because right now i cannot edit info cards you know, I'm always um, saying this because it's rather important. I have to all of my uploads, to all of my videos and tutorials and performances, I have always relevant links in the info cards as well. What the heck? Th that, that's my email. I have to turn off my email program. This is, I don't know, it just pops up. Doesn't matter. Um, relevant links in the info cards as well as in the info box and um this really works well because um, you guys can navigate um, uh, through the material which is also organized in tutorial series playlists as you might know already on my channel page right but now i cannot edit um these um info cards uh, for the live stream it, i just have to wait until the video is then um uploaded and processed or something and then i can edit there so all the relevant links you will find down in the info box for today if you want to watch this then uh, later or go from from uh there at uh, at some point because um i got um I've got, as you know, a whole tutorial series on double lifts and double turnovers with um, uh, now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, tutorials all together. Uh, the main techniques you need to know, basically everything you need to know uh, up to um, an um, uh, intermediate um, or even advanced level unless you want to go real fancy or want to do something super special so this is out there for you in case you don't know this yet and then i do have um actually three performance out there um on uh, the ambitious uh, card plot basically um this one is from 2014 so it's a very old video it's uh, um the red rising um by chris randall i believe i performed um then there is a a, a, a little routine I, I i named the ambitioso where i'm just jazz around a little bit with the virtuoso deck and i'm saying this is the ambitioso deck and so on i thought th that it was kind of a little stupid joke there it's out there and then there is a um um routine where um uh, that, that was from 2016 look i still I, I have color in my hair it's like brown hair it's not so, it's the, as gray as i am today it's only two years how do you see how stressful the last two years have been um and especially this year also <laughs> uh doesn't matter anyways and this is a performance by the way if you haven't watched it um of the a pop-up card and um I'm wondering if you guys figure out how I um, how I do this there, how I get into pole position for the um, 
for the effect. Um, maybe you want to uh, talk about it, you know, um, in the in D Discord. I haven't been in Discord for last two weeks. I just checked uh, today. Um, I believe you, um, there wasn't much going on. I believe everybody is, I don't know, um, in the in the summer holiday mood or something. And and then again, we are listening in the background to. Um, Royalty free music organized by Royalty Free Planet. Um, uh, uh, my favorite, my favorite um, uh, um, uh, music channel on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, here I'm doing this again. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah. Apply some pressure. pressure. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, here, here I am. Here I am. Rosa Show is like a Hollywood Mario's Grüße dich herzlich von schön rein. Jawohl. Wie ist es am Rhein? <laughs> um, crazy Channel is like, I think modern uh, uh, Marius looks uh, wiser, uh, uh, rocking that uh, mustache for a while. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you for thank you for uh, for the kind words. I know I'm an old man, but it doesn't matter. I'm not the first, you know. <laughs> old, old Marius looks wiser. Now, just hook me up in the comments right now. Uh, do you do the ambitious card? If so, and I'm guessing, does it play a big role in your routine or in your repertoire? You um, uh, uh, do this a lot or, or not? And what is your favorite uh, version of the ambitious card? You do in the pop-up card maybe or something else? For me, the pop-up card is one of the strongest ways of doing this. If you just don't want to go into a full ambitious card routine, but just, you know, uh, elaborating the effect at the moment. Also, I like um, um, card to mouth as a um, closer for a little impromptu ambitious card routine. And, um, and then of course, it's a, it's, it's a question of how, how we get ready for the ambitious card, which method we use, and so on. And if you have some tips, if you want to go into something in detail, I don't, um, you know, it's not a big chapter. I'm not going uh, too much into detail into all of those uh, things here. I mean, um, uh, so we are, we are. I, I, I want to do this relatively freely to um, just, you know, um, to, to just. Uh, to just um, uh, oh yeah, uh, deal with or, or talk about w w what you guys uh, think it's important is to get the most value for everybody out of here. Now, Sebastian Hensel is tuning in and saying, hi everybody. Hey Sebastian, awesome you tuning in. So let me turn the camera on here to get started. And, um, and let's go to the car table. Now, let's open a beautiful bicycle seconds here. like that now I don't have my knife I'm, I'm really treating the seconds so so without respect uh, I don't know because they're seconds you know second class cards <laughs> I never pulled out a, 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 a deck out of a second box that didn't just you know that didn't work well with me so we get the cards here so let's see what's what's not good about those. And smell test. Oh, they smell lovely. New cards. So ah, this everything is sticky here today. The jokers. The, the the other one I had it had it, it it clearly had misprints here on the on the cards. But this one looks actually. I can't find anything on the first glance here. Hi, by the way, how's your culling doing? I've been practicing a little bit. So you can um, you can um, be happy. I, uh, there's uh, tutorials finally. I'm, I'm uploading tutorials again. I had a rough two weeks. Just couldn't make it. Too many obstacles in the way. So I'm just uh, right now. I'm wondering why is this not? If the, if I would have pulled this out of an ordinary box, you know, they sold me those as um, as standard cards. I would have been completely satisfied. Not even the borders are super untied. I don't know. Let's see. Fence well. And now already my 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 hands are sticky. It is disgusting. Yeah. Maybe they are a little um, 
um, softer than regular uh, regular deck. I don't know, but it's just you know, it's working well. I don't know. So now, in 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 this chapter here, um, we we find basically two techniques of um, setting ourselves up for the effect. Right, one uh, would be a double lift or triple lift, and the other one would be. Um, placing a um a card over another card uh, with a uh, using a reverse and a specific uh, flow of motions or um a palm palm at one point here uh, using the double lift turn up which is by the way something i didn't really figure out how this is supposed to look like in the end you notice when you when you um work with lit literature and then you look into um you, you read it and then it's like how the, how is it supposed to look like right and uh i, I guess this is the, the, the greatest uh, challenge and difficulty especially for beginners because um of course you're just getting started and you don't have so much of an idea and so much experience how things are supposed to look like so this is what a beginner, or I also remember myself as a beginner, you know, being confronted with this so many times. And like, how is this supposed to look like? And the more you progress, the more you have seen, the more you have worked this, the, the easier it gets to, you know, kind of um, to imagine what it's supposed to look like. But here in this case, I was like, or maybe it's because it's so hot today. I was like, I, I, I don't really get it. Um, and yeah, and this is living in great times. You know, I probably would have just, you know, using double lift turn up, uh, I would just have Googled it or looked it up on YouTube and maybe somebody would have performed it. I don't know. Um, but, you know, that's great sometimes to have somebody to sh to show you how, how it's supposed to look like or respectively not look like, right? Anyway, you know, I'm, uh, I've, I've got something, some material on um, reverses and here there is a really nice reverse for the first phase um, here on uh, page 283. It's um, something that is uh, actually um, explained on page 110 uh, facing the bottom card and um this is this is um from this starting position with the with the hand and with, with the deck in overhand grip in the right hand and of course it's kind of standing up situation here um but you would you bring the hands together and then you 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 end up in this position and then you turn the deck over and even in this even from this angle you wouldn't see the reverse right um and now you can go into a um into a spread for, for having somebody pick pick up the card right let's say this somebody picks a seven of spades now as they take the card and they examine the card you bring the deck um, in a vertical position you take the card back you bring it on top of here and now you have um your one card right um nicely put right and then we just um turn the cards over we place it in there and we set up for the ambitious card now another aspect they, they don't even really talk about this here in this chapter is how do you present um how do you present the effect well we have the pop-up card here we're going to talk about this in a second but of course now the easiest thing is to show now that the effect of course there are those um card productions and once again i've got a tutorial series a whole tutorial series let me show you this here uh, for everybody uh, who might not know it where is my channel page right there so it is um here those uh these moves uh are ain't weak it's um it's uh top card productions um there's a thump uh, thump uh, nail so you find this on my channel page <clears throat> and of course you could uh, do something like this you know or uh, um this or oh, this didn't work this make the card jump into your hand also this one is a very lovely one uh this is a new deck guys just put, put it out of the box this one is also very nice but of course you don't need to do this you don't need to overdose this the um uh, the, the the classical version of the ambitious card is, is is really uh um subtle it's um just um uh, a, a a push over double right and then um the placement of the card and then the card comes back to the top right that is the the, the purest version of it um the way the legends say um uh, uh 
um, who, who fooled who? Who, who said who food somebody who no, who who they weren't food houdini or what, who was it who was it who fooled who i don't know the professor fooled houdini is it is that a story or i am i completely is my complaint brain completely melted down already guys it's so freaking hot here um i don't know i don't know tell me about it uh Um, so, so, uh, uh, so someone who whose um, name I can't um, pronounce. Let's go for just a second here. Like, guess this is I, I I don't read. I don't even know what this what the, what this lettering is. Man, what is going on? I can't show this right now. Oh, wait, let me bring this up. The chat up here. There you go. Um, maybe this is better. Um, I. I don't know how to to say your name, um, to pronounce your name, uh, sir. I can't understand push off second dealing part of left hand grip. Could you show us how we grip the deck? It is, you know, here's the thing with the push off um, uh, second deal. It is um, it is a very delicate matter. I just uploaded a tutorial on how to deal cards. I'm not. I, up, I don't, didn't upload it yet. I just recorded and edited today how to deal cards and there i explained the dealer script and it's pr 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 probably also the same uh, uh um, proposition for a um pushover uh, double lift which comes with a lot of practice um usually you achieve this by uh, uh, practicing a double a second dealing with push push off um i wouldn't I wouldn't really um, mind so much about it. Um, there is there are so many other ways of um, um, p uh, using double lifts or double turnovers that are much more easier. Uh, would come with less, much less effort, and just you know do the just do the job, right? Don't don't go nuts on the double double lift. The the the, the finale, the, the high end, the the high finesse of the uh, of uh, double lifts. That, th those are things that it, it's just uh, it's just meant for a few. You know, you take take a long you you have a long journey ahead. You do you have to really actually practice this for a very long time, and. Um, and not only that specific move, it's, it it has to do. I've just realized doing this with the tutorial on this on, on a on a on a proper fundamental technique, how to deal cards in preparation for second and bottom dealing. Um, there is you you will get a um, a feel for the cards, uh, which is extremely delicate, and that just comes with um, uh, working with cards in in different ways f f for a long time on a high frequency. Just. just, just just that you know, right? So don't don't go crazy with this. I have this tutorial series up and running on uh, double lifts and double turnovers. Everything in the info box. And before you haven't worked through that, before you haven't mastered that, you don't have to think about. You don't have to worry about everything else, right? So just trust me on that one. Uh, uh, Food Houdini when he was uh, 27 years old. Nice, nice. Uh, um a mega Hulk Hogan fan is announced again. Says hello, admirers. Thanks again for the streams. So, um, uh, uh, Di Vernon Fultudini, the professor. But with the simple, I don't even know if uh, um, how this setup was um, exactly because um, there, there was a little, there's a little bit more to the story because, of course, um, you can perform this in a uh, uh, in a um, endless stream uh, with, with a cut. Uh, uh, change somewhere in between really cleverly and you know Daiwon was a master of um, you know placing an, a technique where you wouldn't expect it in an offbeat uh, under cover of brilliant misdirection so that a top ch change becomes a, something absolutely um, um, uh, effective something extraordinarily but that is also a maybe because i've been now talking a little bit about double lift double turnovers with something like the ambitious card um you know um this is something um where if you really want to go to uh, go no let me put it like this this was something that was as soon as you um uh, learned your first two routines or tricks how to do this you know maybe the the the, uh, the pop-up or something else um this will stay with you and you you this will develop over time and you can really get cr very creative over this stuff because the classic ambitious card of course just represents the effect of the of the, a card of a certain value being put in the center of the pack at a random position and then the card appears back on top of the deck that's the classic um definition of course now you can um combine this with a card at um impossible location now the card 
um, jumps to another spot or you can do this card with cards across now the cards jump I don't know to another package or you can combine this with various color changes to visualize the um, the moment of the card rising as a matter of a fact I, I use this plot um, and I, I wouldn't even I, I mean I, I always make up my own stories and my own um, chit chat and pattern and, and everybody should you know trying to make the material which is classical which is out there forever basically to make this your own um, but of course um, we are all um, just um, uh, how you say um, dwarves on the ch shoulders of giants right so um not saying that uh, I've been inventing anything new. I've, I'm just, you know, um, eager, trying to create my own character, my own performance style, and also, and this has something to do. So, this um, this uh, 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 um, thing would be like when you. Um, how did I perform this? Well, I I, I did it in this manner. I used this beautiful. Um, um, start with. The, can start here with this um, color changing card where you have a card on top of the deck and as soon as you pick it up ah, that's what that new card it changes right the, the, the queen to the jack now um, how did I do this um, I how did I do this right how is it yeah I turn I need to I, I don't have the whole routine in my head now so right I'm uh, I place the card now the jack into the center of the pack right this is how you do this and now here comes the plot of the ambitious card because um when you push the card in it immediately starts rising to the top and as you can see here right now it is pretty much at the top so i don't have any time right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to take a bunch of cards here out of the middle of the deck just like that and place them on top which brings now the jack here pretty much down okay you're with me now if i push the, the jack now inwards now i have to hurry up a little bit because already because the jack is super ambitious starts moving to the top i show you this i turn up the the, the top card in a second from the top and now if i give it a little bit of time right you will you will see that the jack comes rising to the top of the deck there you go there you go oh there comes the jack right and Again, I'm in pole position to do the same thing, right? The jack is super, the jack is super, super, super ambitious. So when I put put the jack in there, you know, sometimes he comes just jumping to the top instantly, right? Something like this. And, and then I've, I play this the same time. It's very strong, it's very beautiful. So it's the same plot, but it's it um, transcends over the classic plot. It comes with this um, um, visual representation of the effect. Um, mm, it's just something I wanted to add to this one right now. What was it? Right. Maybe maybe let's um let's just go and I just I just talked about this the other day even and I just forgot it now. So I want to I want to see how I did this performance. Um so let's turn the music off here for a moment and then I turn the sound volume up here. And, and I just want to watch this. I want to see how I how, how I did this, right? For A's, this is the Ambitioso, a deck designed only for the purpose to bring the ambitious card, one of the most famous themes in card magic ever, to a whole new level. So let's see what you can do with this. It's super old. I mean, I just two two uh, uh, fifty. Five, it's five years ago. Um, <laughs> I, I love this uh, this intro trailer so much. Uh, anyway, so okay, the bringing this out. The famous card of all them playing cards is the Ace of Spades, because the Ace of Spades is super duper ambitious. It always wants to be leader of the pack, so that whatever card. I don't. What was this? What was this? Um, 
cut. I couldn't do the cut now. I don't even know what the, what the cut I did, but I know what I did. So I, of course, I um I had a, a, the, I had the stock of the cuts. I went probably ace and a queen to make a, a nice uh, a, a, a color change. So I had the stock on the bottom. Simply controlled it to the top, and then the cut. Um, and then I um also used this um flourishy cut here to um. How did I do this? Um, how did I do this? Ah, yeah, this, it's like this. Web, web. Yeah, you turn the cards around. Like, just, just swing cut. You come. Ah, oh, man, swing cut, right? Swing cut. You come underneath. You turn it over, and then you turn the package over. Keeps the deck intact, but looks uh, looks like a genuine cut. And it's, it's also a very uh, flourishing way just to to um to turn it to turn the deck around. Right. right. So. I just don't want to talk here in the sense of just pure mechanics or something, because we we already talked about the uh, chapter on, the chapter on um, uh, presentation of magic and so so th th this all really gets interesting if you with the material you got at hands um, start to you know. Um, um, Design your own uh, routines if you if you create something that, that works for you and sometimes. Um, it's a big deal. How do I turn the deck around? Sometimes it's a, it's a big deal. From from what position do I come to do this so that it feels natural um, for, for me or respect respectively that um, it, it it looks natural from the out from the outside and it, it doesn't matter how I feel doing it as long as I can create the impression of it being a completely natural um, occurrence. Ends up being top card after the deck has been shuffled and cut, and let's see what we got here. We got a queen of diamonds as top card. As you can yes, see. the queen of diamonds as turns into the ace of spades. It turns into the ace of spades. And, and another thing I want to mention here, I got this um, this um, uh, color change also as a tutorial up and running on my channel. It's it I believe it's uh, it's called um, um, it's called wait where's the video? This changes everything or something. Let me see. Yeah, this changes everything. This this sucker here, just one, right? Okay. Ah ah. Back to the video. Where is it? I'm losing control here. That's where it is. No. Right. How is that even possible? Yes. How is that even possible? You see, this is a whole performance. You know, I really you made my mind up on everything, how I turn the cards around, how I say this, you know, every, every everything is uh, is planned. And of course, um, you need to you need to give to this whole action of pulling out the card. There needs to be a reason. And this is the story of the card rising to the top, right? And this is where you set yourself up with this and motion, and the reason top, for doing this is the, the story. The you tell that the card comes rising exactly to, uh, to, right uh, too fast to the top of the deck, exactly. All right. Because this so I basically just, that's what I wanted to, to, what to wanted to see, how I turned the deck around, actually. To turn over so now uh, my favorite double turnover well um, gives you very control. And also here in this situation, you see I um, I do it this, I, I pick the double, I, I take the double, and then I use the card, to turn the other card over, so this kind of you know, it's not the most natural way to to to, to turn a card over from the top, but this kind of gives it also a, 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 a meaning or more more of a reason. That's why I I come from uh, you know I take the card like this so that I use it like a little shovel here to turn the card over, and also then I'm in the super position to just place the card in where I got where I got it, and now I'm set up for this beautiful effect which you can play from different time time places and i hope it is um it's now a different colored card um, it is not <laughs> I, I should have known this um uh, yeah you can do something like this impromptu but of course it's much more beautiful if i don't know um a seven of clubs turns into a um queen of hearts you know you have to street black spots and they become the, the, the colorful queen is is much more uh, uh, has much more impact and, now, and and I, I so in the way this is plotted in the way this is plotted I I, I um I uh, I was not lucky enough to have um to have uh two red cards here now to 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 have the the the, the, the ace showing <laughs> and I probably I I just went with it because it took me hours to record it anyways <laughs> Just time see how I play the effect. In, because the ace is already on its way up to the top, melting its way card through card to finally appear in front of everybody's eyes. And this is completely 
self-working, no sleight of hand involved, due to the design of the cards. So that with only little practice, you can create the illusion that the ace uh, obeys your magical command. And who knows, maybe by the end of the day, it truly does. Yeah, and it comes back. Ta -da -da. Um, okay, now, um, <clears throat> One more thing I was thinking just in general um, for um, for holding um, a double, right? It is always good, you know, to rest a little bit with the card. But it shouldn't, you shouldn't be, uh, they shouldn't be um, not uh, too flashy. But if you go naturally for a, a motion like this, just like that, you know, and I do this like this, I, I like to pretend to simulate the ring. And then I come and I turn it over like the pages of the book. Create so much, it's, you know, this, this, uh, the, 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 the Greatest mistake you can do um, when you work with a delicate effect like this, where the focus lies on the one card, and then on the one card, and then on the one card, and then and then on the one card, is that you handle the card stressfully like this. You know, I've got one card here, and you you stick tight there, and I got just one card here, and you know, and then maybe you go loose because uh, now you only have one card. So you 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 need this is the the, the, the most. The, the most the, almost the most difficult thing to to master that to um to when you when we're working here with doubles to um to keep your nerves you know it, it can be it can be a little stressy um working with doubles i'm, I'm telling you uh, but, but that's not a problem so but we have another we have another thing going on here and that is this beautiful um this beautiful um reverse just here on page uh, a reference here on page uh, 283 uh, to page 110. Um, so you would be just doing standing this. You come, you bring your hands together. Um, you come to bring your hands together to turn the deck over. Now you saw me flashing here to start um, shuffling the cards, right? And reversing a card at the bottom. So got to practice this a little bit here. I come how you know here for me the challenge would be I would probably I would what I would come I would probably come with curled in fingers and stretch them out as I grab the cards now I see how f far I can go until I just naturally can turn to turn this over just like that to go for the cards it's a really really beautiful reverse really beautiful reverse we have a spectator select a card now the challenge is to bring the card into a vertical position. So the reverse card on the other side faces to your side, or maybe where well, we are here, or maybe um, you just, I, you just, I just would turn it around like this to go there, take the card back again. And then here, this is where you, how you, many performers do it like this, just to play safe, place it down there, turn around there. Right. And uh, the, 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 um, the later you you place the card while you turn around the um higher the risk to flash the card right but of course pushing it bringing it down turn it around then yeah 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 it's um it, it's a tricky thing so have so have so having the deck like this in your hand placing the card on top and coming down like this might even be the, the ba ba better solution but it all depends on your perform performing performance situation right uh, where you are with this and as soon as you got it here um, uh, of course, you can transfer it to the to right, to right hand. Now, this is a brand new deck. Usually, the way I use cards, they always get after um, a certain amount of um, um, flourishing with them and shuffling them, they get a nice band, right? Um, and this band is usually all, um, or mo most of the time, all I need to um, to pick the double up as soon as I have the double face up on the top of the deck right so let's let's try this motion once again um we would be we would be in this situation and re once again um you need to realize this is this is a situation where we're talking with people right so you're in the situation you're talking with people and now you come you come just ah this didn't work and you see this is already a coordination thing here i wouldn't never hold my hands like this i would be standing and i would hold my hands more like this right so I, i'm in this position i come here i turn the deck around to shuffle the cards right like that. That's that's how, how it would be more natural, right? Just one more time. Let me try this here. 
Now, um, wait, let me give you this in the other camera perspective. Let's let's go to, to Dick perspective. So I'm here. Um, also, once again, I, I would be more down, right? So let me let me go more to the side here. So you see this. I, I have the deck in uh, just you know, here, transfer the deck here. You come here to talk to the people. You, you go in to turn the deck around and then to start shuffling the cards, right? And that's where you do it. And then you say here to pick a card, any card. Now a spectator takes any card, I throw it on the camera. Now it doesn't, it doesn't matter. And um, now you need to, they're looking at this. You need to just to turn a hand around and you do this in what, also one motion. It's not, nothing spectacular. Now you get the, the, the hand back. Now, how do you do this? Now, it's like this, like this, um, like this. I, I think I think if I take a card like this, and I, I would do it like this, it's much more natural, right? Then, then going like this, as I, as I see many performers do to play it safe. But also, this depends on the angle, right? Now I have a, I have a twelve-year-old kid looking at me, so this angle is pretty safe when I when I take the card and I come like this. But if I go a little bit, you know, if I give you a little. Uh, another angle I take the card and I come here I risk totally to flash just nuances like that and this is stuff um, um, that, that that's it there it that gets your whole body involved <laughs> and where you want to end up is then with the card in this so I'm going back to this position I, I nobody knows I've got the card on top I here I take the card back I place it on top of the deck I got it here and now because of the natural bend I trained myself to pick the double up like this. Now, this was a really bad example, just like that. Now I got it here, right? Because of the bend, I've got a natural, I've got a natural break here, huge, super huge break. And it, it is, it, it, you should give this a try. It, you, it's just like picking this, no. Oh, <laughs> It's just like, why is it always when you explain things, it doesn't work? Are you kidding me? Um, and you pick this up like like this, right? And then you, and sometimes you, I, I talk when I talk. I could go, I like to do, do something like this, you know, and um, just to just casually flash the b bottom card once again. It's not a big deal. And from here, um, just you know, it's so important that you handle the card super lightly and naturally, and that you don't stress out over this. And of course, it takes time of practice, but th this is super essential for for the whole effect. No, right and, and from here then you of course you can just turn it over like this you can um turn it over like the pages of a book depending on on the way you want to play it right very nice one more time here from from this uh, angle i have the cards like this i come like this i turn the deck around i shuffle the cards ah right and um i got my i got my card reversed on the back of the deck i have a spectator pick a card out of the deck card goes out of the deck I'm just uh, uh, just talking to the people. I, I, oh, I forgot to transfer the card. I need to transfer the, the, the deck like this. I would do it like this. Now um, somebody gives me the deck back and I bring it back on top. Now, the way I used it, I totally flashed. You see? Very bad. Can't do it like this. Good to know. I would love to do it. I, I think this would be the... Yeah, like this. But you can't do it. Like I can't throw it on there without flashing. So I come and I do it like this. Much better, right? Got it there, and we're in pole position. Picking up the card, picking up the card. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, just like that, very lightly. By the way, it's uh, it, this is just a, uh, this is just such a oh, with a new deck, it, it's uh, it's just uh, a deck has just a certain momentum where you can pull this off easily. <laughs> this convincer, where oh man, <laughs> no. Uh, this is so now this is my hands are super sweaty. <laughs> the deck is brand new. So the uh the moisture of the hands is just like a bunch of cards stays and everything else goes goes away. Eh? But there are no excuses. This is how it is. So yeah, this beautiful um turning. Yes, then the card rotates, the double rotates. That's that's a beautiful beauty. But um one of these moves, you know. Why would you? Why would you put yourself into this risk, <laughs> unless you really want to know it? <laughs> so what's going on in the chat here? I'm going full. full I, I'm I'm out of control. So we got um, yo-yo uh, 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 at work. Gonna watch this evening. Have a nice day, Patrick Shaver. All right, and then um, Aaron Jenks. I do very simple as but the effect ends with. Uh, 
cat to mouth. Nice. So let's take this as a little um thing. We, we, we just not to go too much into double lifts and double turnovers here. How you get um how you get um, how you get uh, 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 a kind of uh, a cat change without really pulling off a double. And there's a nice uh, nice uh, technique of. Um, uh, catching a break now, first of all, at the bottom of the of the deck, and you can do this with a count, or you can do this with a uh, pinky count at the bottom here, and um, so you place the card there, and we are we are not talking here with the with the um, spectators card. It's on top of the deck, right? And now I swing this here. Now, do you know do you know wh where your card is, right? Where your card is. Is it is it here or is it here? You gotta fight, you gotta watch. Like I show you. Do you think this is your card? Let's see. This is your card. Very well. Here we go. Now I take the card and I place the card right there in the fan. You know what? Put it in there yourself. Now the people put it in there themselves. That's where you go up and you take it there. Very easy, right? They put it in, you place it in the fan, in the fan, and then you say, the card is now on top. And of course, you have performed a little bit of the ambitious card already, so now they're expecting it. They need to expect it right there. Oh, it's not there. What the heck? It's not there. It's not there. And then you just wait until they find it in their hand, right? So beautiful effect. It's super. It's, it's, you can't believe that this one is so much. This is so much easier than you would expect it to be. You just got to give it a try, right? And of course, there are other ways to load a card on there, but this is the, the classical version. And I like to go for this. And I got busted here many times because this is something so, so unnatural. I mean, you go like this Jesus it is not typical you know nobody really does this you know and especially bring the cut in like this this got to be very fast and flawless and then you place it in zack and there you go you got your card controlled right now i lost it because i didn't take it out um so what i like here to do I catch my break at the bottom, and this is really, you can do this under, under misdirection, easy peasy, you're talking with the people, you catch this nice break, and then you say, um, and they had the cut on top, you turn the cut, no, so I have the nice break, I have the cut, I put them there, I lay, lay so he, your cut, no, 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 follow me along here, now did you see where the cut went? People go here, and or here, I may, may use this little play and say here, are you sure about this? Are you sure this one is your card? And then you turn, it's your card, right? It is your card. Now, please, let's place your card right there in the center of the bag, right? You got to play it like this. And this all happens in the interaction. And I like this moment, that's their card, and then there, you have to push them in. Remember the other day when we, when we did the... Um, the um, uh, a Patreon exclusive live jam where I was uh, telling you guys you you should definitely spend time um, uh, uh, with the with the um, uh, enhance uh, uh, one handed fan classical move and card magic that's just for moments like that um, it's uh, it's it's just elaborate your card magic to immediately like you're not just doing card tricks anymore it's just like you you just create this picture right. Put your card in there. Put your card in there. Right? They do that, and you do this. Nobody sees this. Now they're waiting for your card, and the next time they look up, they have their card they, in in your mouth, and they know. Of course, it's this is not an effect. By, by, by the way, in all once again, it depends on how you perform and how you play it. I'm more of the trickster guy, who of the of the of the um uh, of the clowny clownishy um um acting fool right i'm 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 acting a f i'm an, i'm acting a fool who's um um in between the lines showing you that that's that this is a joker you got to be dealing with a dangerous guy something like this i like to play these nuances so it is a moment where i that seriously kind of like yeah yeah you thought this is this is serious business man this could be your wallet right this could be your money. I'm eating your money. Just kidding. I'm just trying to elaborate the, 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 the emotion that's there. And I always found this, that people were like, it, it wasn't just not an astonishment. It was always like, oh, oh, that, that was really fast, dude. That was really, un that was unexpectedly fast. What, the, what are you up to right this moment? And of course, um, this is a whole nother aspect of the whole art form. I'm just discovering myself like so many things after a, a decade of, of, of um, study, studying this and other art forms before that. Um, the, 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 let's call it the navigation of emotions, the, the, the moments that you create and 
those moments are also um, um, always um, different because you're dealing with different people. Of course, there are similarities, but it's always a unique moment, right? And um, if there's one thing, the, the biggest tip I can, I, I try to follow for my service, like I, I try to make every moment, um, every magical moment, unique also for myself I would, and I can do that because I'm not a professional you know I'm not I'm not in the need to go out there every freaking uh, day or weekend and, and and perform pretty much the same gig in the same setting you know so I, I I'm, I'm I'm not in that I have no trouble there you know every every time basically is completely exciting <laughs> so I've been um, uh, losing my shit here again let's go back to the car table um, that was one thing now, let's talk about the the so we have now in and the camera is overheating again. I'm sorry, guys. I got to turn this off. Now we have been talking about um, we have been talking now about uh, the concept of placing a card on top of the other card, kind of changing the card without a double lift, the double turnover. That double lifts and double turnovers are a main uh, tool when it comes to ambitious card. We don't have to talk about it, but that's a fun part that you can really learn about, about the art form and about the correlation between method and effect with, with, the, with the plot of the ambitious card, right? So, um, so with a reverse card and with this motion I just explained to you, you can get into pole position without pulling off a double turnover. But of course, then you have to um, lift those two cards. You have to double lift and those two cards you know, to, and also reverse them. So you, you, you don't you don't get, get around, really. <laughs> then I briefly talked about, and by the way, I didn't show you this and I will show you this in a second, how this actually works. How to load the card? Maybe I can do it with this camera here, standing up again. Okay, so we got a break here, right? I cut the card, right? And now when I push this card forward, that's where I place the other card, right? Just because I come here, I push the card forward, place it there, and then I have to tilt my wrist, and I do this to show the card, right? And I place this in, and as soon as I got it in, I turn the wrist around again. And here's a little subtlety to this sucker. Have your fingers and your thumb like this in this position. Because, think about it, if that would be actually the top card that you just pushed in, and you would hold the cards like this, it would fall, right? <laughs> so when you place a card here, it's a little subtlety, push it forward, and as soon as you turn this around, Get, get into this grip, right, into this grip. So when you push it inwards now and you turn the hand over again, now the people see, ah, this is the card, and then, of course, this should be aligned. Open it up again. One-handed fan, this is how I do it. Place the card in. I'm sorry for the shitty ending. My other camera is burning. Have the spectator put the card in. While I put the card in, I took it in my mouth, and the magic was happening, right? Card to mouth, very easy. And then... And then the, the the rest of it. So what you need? What's the requirement? One-handed fan. I'm sorry, you can't do a one-handed fan. Come on, get started. Get start practicing, right? And um um, and then um, you need to get this uh, count pinky. That's also very easy, right? So that's the first thing you do. Swing card. Load the card. Wrist kill. Place it in, turn it over, one-handed fan, place the card in, have them push it in, and th th in this motion, you just push this forward, the card forward with your thumb, op go to your mouth, place it in the corner of the mouth, come down with you, and do this completely casually, super loose. That's it. That's the motion. And by the way, I'm sharing this here very frankly or very openly, because there is a legend of now 18 people supporting me with a pledge on Patreon, them so-called ad maniacs, and those guys are rocking awesome. And also, currently we got 14 people watching, and um, I believe the highest peak there was 16 people. Usually there's only people tuning in that are really interested in card magic and that are looking for um, real um, and serious sources for learning. So this is kind of uh, planning in, hiding in plain sight. 
I wish I would um, uh, reach um, more people, just so having a channel grow as a, uh, because I also um, uh, enjoy myself as a YouTuber very much. But um, as it turns out this year, we have been, we've started to build a very intimate, uh, intimate community with a lot of friendly folks that are supporting and helping each other out. So in that sense here, this is kind of, you know, a, um, a open uh, class um, where everybody uh, teaches everybody. Um, and um, it's a blast and it's a pri privilege doing this together with you guys. And um, if you're new to the show watching this, maybe even in the future, um, you will find a link in to Discord, to our Discord channel down in the info box. Um, and there you can meet the uh, other guys. And of course, you, you're very welcome to, to visit my Patreon site. Uh, you will find the link also down below, right? Right, right. The fan makes it look magical. And you know, this is not, it's not so hard to do. It's just like, I, I know it takes a little bit of time, but it's, um, it's worth, it's, it's worth, worthwhile but just to, to to i guess the camera has cooled down already just this one final thought on this whole um beautiful thing thing that you can embed into any um, ambitious card routine especially in a close-up setting in a real club where you have a circle around yourself and then people push them in and um is that you really have to figure this out yourselves at what point with what timing you do all these moves it is very it, it, it's something that's really out there you're really out there in the wild you know there, there is a wild stream going on there's people interested there is you know and by the way this is another thing you don't have to play the, the ambitious card um routine um like kind of you know just with the magic with the cards you can turn this in, into a competition of two cards of two people for example or you can have first somebody choose the card and then uh, the card comes back and it's his card and then you have another spectator and then it's her card and then maybe you know you even change the cards you can um play you have a lot of room to play and jazz around with material like that and that's the fun part so once again if you once read it, if you once know it's there, it's great. And you never know when you will come back to it and what you, how, how important this might uh, 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 get, become for you, right? So let's talk about the ambitious card move. Oh no, what, how long are we doing this now? Okay. I, I can see how long we're streaming now. Um, which is annoying me. Okay, there's a new back end of YouTube. They just changed that. It's, uh, I, uh, Jesus. So probably I've got to turn the music back on. Let's see. Do we have any music? Come on, where's the music? Okay, guys, I'll be back with you in a second. I don't know why I don't hear any music anymore. Ah, I know why. Huh. Okay, music, music, we have music. We're back, back, back on track with music. Um, I'm sorry, I, I, once again, I have the feeling that I'm completely um, chaotic with what I do. Um, please excuse me. It is freaking hot where I am right now, like 30 degrees or something. And I've been here on this very freaking table shooting tutorials for you guys the last two days. And yeah, you're at 57 minutes. Thank you so much, um, Cody Lee. So we're good. Don't worry about reaching more people. The people will come. Your format of going over tricks in classic books will definitely catch on. I think so too. And you know, really, it's also at this point, I've, I'm kind of fed up, actually. Not with you, not with what I'm doing on YouTube, but this year we put so much material on the table, which inspired me so much. And the internet it was like, I gotta do, I, I've got all these routines there. So I don't really feel like going into more material, right? <laughs> We're gonna walk through the rest of the year. It's good that it's there, but um, th at a certain point, you just have to make elaborate decisions. What you want to do, what you want to take, what you pick, and you work on this, you know, and then you create something new. You become an artist. This is an art form. 
Ja, ja. And, and, and uh, this is not about a challenge. Who knows most tricks? Who does all the slides? You know, that's, that's, uh, it's just not what this is all about. Walter Olsen says he has to jump off. I'll check, see if more uh, later on the upload. Thanks for this. Very helpful. You're, you're welcome, Walter. See you around next time. It's all good already. A lot of cool stuff. Right. So um, here's the thing. It's called the ambitious card move. Um, now the music is too loud on my headphones again. Which like gave me a little bit of trouble. Let's, let's, um, let's take a look at this very briefly. It's just uh, just another way of turning the card around. So what we got here, um, cyclically insert the left little finger under the first two cards, means of the lift get ready. Okay, the lift get ready. There's only one method, and I also described this in the tutorial on uh, double lifts, um, on, uh, probably on the best uh, working double lift. It is when you turn one card over, right? When you want to, this is the perfect situation to catch a pinky break underneath the uh, two or at least one card underneath, you know, to, get, to catch a break. So, so if because I, I'm, I'm really a fan of at the point where when I can load, um, or when can I get, when I when I can get uh, when it's possible to get a step ahead in a moment in an uh, with with an effort that I do have to do anyways, I would be crazy if I don't do it. You know, the kind of thinking efficiently. So when I when I turn this card over, I immediately I immediately immediately catch a break. But wh why would I, you know, uh, um, turn the card over, you know, to show it to anybody? And of course, I can do it then and take the break. But it works too, quite honestly speaking. But sometimes I just like to get over with it right there on spot. Anyway, we turn one card over and we need a break. Now, now we take the card here at the inner end and we turn the cards over like this in a vertical position to, to our spectators. And from there, we, we lift the card up something like this to bring it back like this. Now I've been flashing here like crazy now. And I, at least this is how I read it. So, um, so I'm coming into this, into this position vertically why just to hold the card for a moment and then to to lift it up but now i have no i'm sorry this is supposed yeah this is supposed to be like this here now i have the card on the other side and um i need to get this even with the other cards and they're not explaining this in the book really at least this is the way i read it right because then i can just come like this and bring it back like this right so I come up like this, I show the card. And um, yeah, now I have th now I have to figure out a way to get this card from here to here. Maybe I just didn't maybe I just didn't read it properly. Maybe you guys can help me out here. Um, but this was like, a, this is one of those moments where you read a slide and then you go like, hmm, how does this, hey, this is actually supposed to look like? Anyways, from my reference point, at least the way I read it, what's happening here now? Uh, just, I read it. Why, why would I go from, why, why would I go into this position like this? May, maybe like this. <laughs> I don't know why I would do this. I, I just don't find see any reason. Even if I stand up, let's stand up again here. So I'm here. I, sh I, I have those. I have those two cards. I have my pinky break, right? And I've got all this effort for the pinky break, and then I, I go to the, into this position, right? And then and then I, I go into this position. Uh, I can I go away with the left hand. That's how I, how you do this. So you you're here, right? So you're here. You're showing your no no. You're here. You're sh showing showing your jack. And then I go away with my left hand and I got my, th my situation. And now I'm in a perfect situation to bring it down like this. You see, again, we are in the same situation, uh, situation with, the, with the flash. So bring it down like this. So this is how you would do this then. Bang. And it uh, comes up like this. And this card comes... No, I'm down. And this card comes up like this. Right? 
cut my double again. One more time here. Are you following with me, kidders? We're talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm we're talking about turning one card over, right? And um, bringing this to the top like this. Everybody. And then I go like this. And then I go like this. No, I go like this. Making it up right now as as as, as I go along, right? You're just getting into this process, but and then you, you're here in a situation. You go, why would I, why would I go through the to, to the trouble just to go? Maybe it's just long. So we got this this jack of diamonds here, and that's a jack. I'm telling you, this is a jack. This jack is crazy. This jack is crazy. This jack is crazy. Right, bring it up. This jack is crazy, right? All extremely awkward moves right now for my feeling. <laughs> this jack of diamonds is crazy. <laughs> the ambitious card move. Did I misunderstand something here? Okay, nobody, no, nobody, no, no, nobody knows what I'm talking about. That's okay. That's okay. I don't know what I'm talking about sometimes myself. All right, right. So this is once again here an example. Because I was thinking in this thing, if I'm, uh, if my problem is in this situation to get to get into this into this double, why am I just taking a, a simple go get ready, a simple get ready, you know, with 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 the thumb ruffle here at the at the end, and then just turn over a double? Why would I do something else? But that's nice. That's the ambitious card move, right? Maybe just. <laughs> I don't know. It's nice. There are the um. There's the uh, the ambitious twins. Oh, now we're talking triple. And by the way, I just realized there's another chapter on d d double lifts and uh, triple lifts using double and triple lifts. Do you guys want? <coughs> sorry. Us to go this year also into this chapter? Let me know in the comments, please. It is the, it's the chapter before discoveries, discoveries which we already cover. Now, triples, you know, um, you need to count one more. Uh, I I just would go from the corner with a triple, right? If if this was even a triple, let me try this once again. Right, there we go. Two of diamonds. Placing it onto the table. Another card on top of the deck. The five of spades. Two of diamonds, five of spades. Say stop, please. Five of spades, two of diamonds. Say stop, please. Right there. Push it in. Push it in. Push it in. That's how you go, my friend. This is how you go, my friend. Now, look. It's crazy. If I snap with my fingers now, you will find the two of diamonds comes jumping back to the top. It's not coming to the bottom, it's coming to the top, right? If I tap once again with my fingers, you would see that the two of diamonds turns into the five of spades, right? Now, where's the two of diamonds? Uh, the two of hearts, we're talking the two of hearts here, where well, the two of hearts, it's right there in front of your nose. The little, little, little tiny, little tiny um, improvised routine on uh, the ambitious twins, right? Just also for an inspiration for you guys. Um, that was, of course, not not, not a very um, uh, fluent um, performance. But just an idea, saying they come jumping back to the top, but the top card changes. Where's the card? And then you produce it out of the air. Very nice. Um, however, you got to think about it. If you start with stuff like this, people want to see more cards coming out of the air. I promise you that. <laughs> and then you're getting into competition with those uh, uh, card um, uh, manipulators. Those things. Cards, 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 cards. <laughs> I love this shit. It's so amazing. It is so amazing. Guys, can you see how, how freaking hot it is in my place? I'm, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Oh, I'm dying here.
Need more water. So there's nothing going on in chat. Is, 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 are you guys still watching? Oh, we got 15 folks watching right now. That's great. That's good. So I hope you all got your cards out and you're practicing while I'm um, sharing all my wisdom with you guys once again uh, to make it quality, quality time for yourselves, as I'm always saying, right? By the way, the peak of today's stream, there was 17 folks. That was uh, nice. Um, Cody Lee, I'm, I'm broadcasting, I'm streaming from the capital of Germany, Berlin. And it's about, I don't know, 28 degrees. But I'm a German and for me, it is, it's painfully hot, you know. It's like I'm not used to that shit. So. Now there's one more thing, it's called the Omnipresent 8, and this is almost a complete routine. Uh, ambitious card routine. And guys, I had such time pressure, I, what I actually wanted to do, and you know, they, I'm, I'm not an excuses guy, right? There are no excuses. I just didn't find the time, couldn't make the time um, to really um, uh, prepare myself for this one. So we spare this. We're going to talk about the Ambitious card at a later point. Again, anyways, coming back to this. I just, because I can feel my energy just leaving me, leaving my body, I just want to, I just want to um, go to the, to the most beautiful thing you can do with an ambitious plot or a very visual effect, and that is the pop-up card, right? Let me see if I can do this very trashy. I'm, I'm not doing this right now. Very trashy. We have any card and usually we take it out of the center of the pack, right? And I've got here a queen of diamonds. That's great because the queen of diamonds, she is, you know, she's one of the, these people. No, they just need to be in the center all the time, right? So even if you bend her, like... I'm not a ch ch children's entertainer. This, I'm so sorry. You know, um, I've just, I've just, I've just terrible jokes. If, if you, if you decently bend her, right, she's not gonna let go of her, of her thing. Trust me, there. There we got. Now look, if I take her now, and if I place her back again in the center of the pack, right there, you see that the bent queen of diamonds, right? There she is, and just give it a little bit of time. And then she just comes jumping back to the top. There she is. I just I just went brain dead. N not because of the effect, just because of the heat. <laughs> oh man, it's really this is it's the worst thing that can happen to to a performer. Like it's nothing left. There's nothing left. It's just, just the desert, and uh... <laughs> yeah. And here we go. We got the we got the nasty comments r coming in. A guy I've never seen it before called Corn Pop. Oh yeah, bent that queen over, dirty smiley. <laughs> this is how it works. This is how it works, guys. Um, uh, and we got Max Steve in the house saying, Ray, what is happening now in the chat? The I don't know, man. If you guys, and I'm reading now comments I haven't seen before. I don't know what's happening here. Anyways, um, this effect, right? Very beautiful. And I don't have to explain this here in detail. And there's, you know, people talking about um, how to uh, 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 how to hold the cards when when you bend them. Uh, you don't you don't really have to worry about this. I'm I'm really rough. I just bend them. I place them on top, and then I just you know say. In the middle here, say stop, and when you pull pull this over and bring all the attention here to this cards, keep the, the pressure with the finger down. That's all you got to do. And I show this like yeah, there there it is. And when I place it in the center of the pack, get the get the tips of the thumb and the second finger here in the center where the band is. Don't wait too long, you know, if it's too hot. And then just slowly let them go until the card jumps up. And now this effect wasn't so strong, you know. You want you want to really 
uh, you want it to come popping up. Now, if you want, if you don't want to keep on working with the band cut, because yeah, it's not another story. You know, you you can now you've created something. You cr created um. You created a, a a unique card, right? And uh, you can use that in a, in different. But we're not going to talk about this right now. And anyway, you want to reband it? It's a, s a simple ruffle, and your card is back to uh, uh, working again, right? Very very easy. And do you guys know? Is this does this center? Um, do you really? Ah, uh, I got the queen again. She wants more. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny it's funny because it's true you know um this is a nice uh, nice um way of rolling here because once again all of this you know goes down in a in a, in a, in a flow of motion it's a train of thoughts it's 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 it, it, it's an event it's something that's happening so and there are these um stones you can um you know uh, stumble over right because um when you just say with an ordinary double lift turn the card over and you're in this position now how do you how do you get into the position to bend the cards right now what i like is this this version where you just where you just you know have it you remember the first, the, the easiest uh, double lift or the beginner double lift where you turn the card over like this, turn the cards over like this, where you can use this to 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 go from this position into into this position to bend the cards. Yeah, it's uh, everybody is just having a great <laughs> great time here um, with these with this. Stupid uh, jokes, um, and this is why I love this uh, the center um, uh, move here because I got the card now, and now I can just get get it where I need it to bend it, right? Just a little tip there. And is this Dan or Dave, or is this can't? I just can't believe that this should be should have been invented just couple of years ago because that is just this move is just um uh, this is just it's just a killer move to you also from here bang one card place it in there and then you will find the card jumping out of the deck again the camera is overheating once again gotta turn this off are you guys having a great time? Come on, I'm I'm a comedy geni genius, you know. This is how this this is how you gotta do it. You gotta you've gotta be you gotta be sharp and fresh. And when an opportunity shows, you gotta take the opportunity. And don't be don't be afraid to um to offend anyone. You know, you should you gotta go out and you gotta risk everything, right? To improve yourself, especially your comedy lines. <laughs> but you know, the times are changing, people are changing, the humor is changing, the taboos are changing. Um, it just, uh, it's just, it's it's just how things uh, things go down. There, you know, there are acts from the seventies and eighties, they, they, and they they played every night. I I I, I couldn't any, name, any names here. Just go magic 80s, magic 70s. You will find these guys. They are they are so the humor is is wouldn't wouldn't fly today at all. You know, it's like um, way too sexist, way too um, sexualized, way too um, rough, or what they call today edgy, um, uh, which is which is crazy when you think about it. All right. But anyways, th th those guys probably never realized this because uh, those performers are from the b bigger stages, gone from the bigger stages anyway, just performing like you know, for their generation in their circles, probably. Um, 
And the newer stuff is much cleaner. Oh, mate, this might also change one day, once again. It doesn't matter. So. I wanted to... Wanted to... Wanted to watch this performance with you guys now. And I, um... I just want to see this because I will not watch this afterwards here. So this is now the same trick. This is how I performed it in 2016 when I just freshly learned it probably. And I remember uh, that I, um, that I um, put something in there to um to cover the secret extra special let's see if you can figure this out and please feel free to discuss then in discord in our discord channel so let's turn the music out i want to watch this I haven't watched this for a long time how good i was doing entertainment my name is Ot Marius, and today i want to perform for you one of the most visual effects you can do in card magic impromptu. And that means anytime with any given deck. It's a very famous <laughs> variation on an even more famous plot in card magic called the Ambitious Card. Now, if you don't know what the Ambitious Card is all about, well then, prepare yourself for a serious brain meltdown, a mind altering experience. However, if you have a clue about the basic concept mm. of the ambitious card, well then, you still might find yourself okay, no. quite surprised. Come on, come on. You teased us enough. Also, the old, um, or another, um, what do you say, this trailer? Love the sword so much, very much. All right, now, Please. let's say we are in a bar or at a party and we're having the time of our lives doing some card tricks. Time of my life. <laughs> what can I say? Exactly. Never mind. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to shuffle the cards and you are going to stop me anytime, okay? So I'm shuffling the cards and you're going to say stop whenever you please. Can you do that? Yes, you can. Okay, let's do this right now. Here we go. Stop right there. Very well. Let's see where you stop me at. And it's the three of diamonds. Such a lovely card. And now we're going to sign the card because we want it to stand out from all the other cards and play. And since it seems you're the one making all the decisions here, I'm going to write down your name on the card. And of course, everybody knows your name because you are called like, just like, like this video. Oh my God. <laughs> and also I'm going to write down your family name. And that of course is sub, just like subscribe to this channel. <laughs> what can I say? Just I, ca I can't believe how I made it to 7,500 subscribers with content like that. <laughs> Just have to be creative about these yeah, things. Yeah, be creative, you, know, the you idiot. is very tough on YouTube. And also, we have to make sure that the ink is dry before we proceed. We want to, we don't want to ruin the fabric. Now, as the ink dries, I'm going to bend the card now. And yeah, how did nice, I do that, nice, guys? Nice, huh? nice, nice bend, as you can see. <laughs> and now, I'm going to cut the card right into the deck. Set a random position, and there it goes. You see, the card is neatly bent, lying there, and now, I want you to watch very carefully as I summon my magical powers to make the miracle happen. And I summon the card to rise to the top. That's nice. That's good for me. To the top, a bent card, and it says like and subscribe. Because that was freaking awesome. Yeah, that was and freaking yes, of awesome. Course. Okay. <laughs> I'm having a great time right now. Um, yes, um, this is one of those things, right? For example, just w w one thought that I have here. Um, it's a really old video, but um, the, the, you know, the effort I put in there to, cr to create this magical moment with, with a certain sort of irony, because of there's a lot of magicians also watching things like that. Um, now this video only has uh, 1,974 um, views. I don't know, after after four years or something, five years even. Um, 
so it it is not something like like the public views on uh, on a daily basis you know um uh some magicians performing some tricks on youtube um so but i just can't i can't you know always realize that um shooting for a youtube video or for a camera or preparing a trick for a camera is such a different thing than um then how it all goes down in a live situation right um so bring some this what is the sound from this computer game age of empires i believe the the monks who say hello hello in there it's just like trying to you know connect also on another um um level with the audience that might watch this you know to because um there is just this this screen you usually people watching the thing on you know so that you need to bring something out there to even if the effect in in a live situation is so strong because that is really impossible anyways um you didn't see me ca catch the double there did you <laughs> so where are you going yeah thanks for this um can, can i see you uh, screaming watching your old jokes i'd be too insecure to do that you're the man this is amazing um oh gogan hey david Mero, thanks for this i'll be watching and re-watching this over and over uh, then there be 11 that's great awesome awesome uh night skyrim says awesome does tell glorious yes glorious um um yeah, yeah it's it's that uh, it this is you know um it's so long ago and it it really doesn't matter so much it's 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 a constant process you know what what, what you're doing and um there is even if you suck you know uh, it doesn't matter you know there's no sh there's no shame in it as long as you're enjoying what you're doing um and you um are seriously progressing it's, it's so much better uh to be on that side of history th than to be one of the arrogant people who uh, believe they in reinvented the whole thing but they're just doing what has been done uh, centuries uh before already you know if somebody you know wants to do this and be famous in that time for for you know it's it's okay with me um but i'm not that guy you know because the creation of something new of something truly new um overall is the greatest achievement human beings can achieve this is like um it's a divine sphere basically you know that's 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 where all mythology comes from that we are um enabled to create something new but um that's that's not for everybody because life is fantastically cruel you know and it is on a certain level just a fight for survival 24 7 <laughs> right so um you can be happy enough if you live a life where you are privileged to spend your time on studying things and m maybe come to a better or newer understanding or even get a revelation over uh, uh, over a piece of knowledge that 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 you couldn't um grasp before that you know that's and that's so much more that's so much more value than gold and money and diamonds and all the shit people are killing each other for uh, with uh, gruesome violence and that's what i firmly believe in um and that's why why i sp spent a lot of time in my life um studying and um uh, enjoying myself uh with the arts learning the arts even if you know compared to many others i've always i've never i've never reached certain heights you know <laughs> and i had my great share of being delusional about my skills but i grew up and now i'm handle i'm handling the resources that are there right that's that's how it goes down and then there is still enough sp room enough space for progress and for um for development right and that and that's just that's just great i mean look at this this has been look at this body of work expert car technique i mean this sucker has been put together 1940 and we learn here in this ch very chapter i mean think about this um uh since the introduction of the double lift the feed has become more than ever a favorite with card conjurers and there are few indeed who do not include it in their repertoire that was already true in 1940 but um it has been 
uh, so I read the frog paragraph. It um, it starts here with, here is another plot which has stood the test of time, the trick having been invented by the Parisian prestidigitor. I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I have to look this up. Alberti. I, I never... I've never heard about Alberti. My my uh, knowledge of uh, the history of the uh, of the art is not the best, uh, to be honest. In the early part of the last century, that's what I want to point. Early part of the last century. So this was eighteen hundred. What the early part? Eighteen hundred twenties. This guy would develop or would um, uh, come up with this plot, or that's where that's first recorded. Maybe he even stole it from somebody else, you know, because he's a magician, <laughs> or he was one. So this is we're looking here on on two hundred years of um, of uh, of history of card magic, and it's 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 just just as fresh as it used to be. Amazing! I think it's just amazing. It's so much fun f fun to me. I can't believe that. Um, and it's 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 so it's so much, guys. We've been through so much already this year. This is going to be this is going to be epic to. Um, to kind of, you know, um, put this all together at, at one point. So, I don't know. I need, to, I need you guys to um, um, back me up again here. How long are we now on the road? Because um, if you don't have... I see it now. I have, been, I, have been, I have been judging YouTube again. Just I just see it right now where it is. There it is. It's clearly right there, up in the right corner of the little screen where I can see um, what's going on. One hour and thirty minutes. I, I'm good. I don't want to push it, push this any further. I hope you're good too, um, because yeah, it's it is freaking hot. We talked about this beautiful. Just maybe one recap here. Let's go for one recap on the t on the table. And then we got right there. So we got this beautiful reverse, pushing the card to the side, just like that. And then reverse the card, so spread the cards, right? Have a spectator pick a card, bring the, the deck into vertical position, place the card back on top on there. 90 minutes, I know, guys. And then we are ready for the thing. Then we talked about... Cut to mouth. We got here uh, the the break with the thumb at the bottom card. We swing card the card. We have this interaction with our audience. Is this your card? Are you sure? And by the way, I showed it you like this. Place the card here. Turn the wrist, ra wrist around. Place it together. Fan right. Remember, you can play this in another version. I'm just remembering right now. Just like that. Your card. It's here. And I, I'm just. Displaying this right now, you let the card drop here. Bang! You see, you are in a perfect position for the fan. Place the card in, and it's even better, right? We talked about that for card to mount. That's nice in the ambitious card. And then we, I had my beef or my problems with the um, catching the break here and then getting into this um, vertical position with the ambitious card move. Right, and then I realized that I just, you know, pull the left hand down, and while I do this, I bring the card in the position where I need to 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 get this right. And I did all of this like then standing up. We had, I had this whole standing up session to get it like that. I have been mentioning a couple of times how to pick up the double um, with the natural bend of the cards right there, just with the with the lower section of the palm of the thumb you easily go down here and you just can pick it up like that like one card sometimes it's good just to flash the bottom of the card before you place it on top and then we talked about this little um routine with triple with the triples where i would you know recommend you know going from the corner it's the easiest version with this beautiful double uh lift double turnover two of hearts again on top of the deck and then we got the four of spades right i take the four of spades 
you say stop anywhere. I place it in the deck. I take the two of hearts. I almost showed it get this card right now. I pla <coughs> place it there. And then with just two snaps, the two cards come flying back. You know, we talked about this little baby here. Very, very nice, very easy, um, or respectively easy compared to other techniques. And then we talked about the beautiful, beautiful pop-up card trick where I do love to pick the card out of the center of the pack, if that is possible, you know. Um, <clears throat> and if you want to force a card, um, the 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 thumb riffle force i believe it's called where i like to um get to target card under control with an in shock using the overhand shuffle so i create an in shock i break catch the break over the target card and then i have the spectator select the card at any point forcing the card In, in, in uh, 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 right, um, forcing the card or the double. Then I have to come from the top. Now I was a little bit confused about what I was what I was aiming for, but anyway, um, you you're very welcome, and uh, of course you challenge, and and um, this is this is where where it really gets interesting. What it's basically all about to to cleverly um, and effectively combine different techniques with one another, and um, the the center to get right there into pole position for bending the cards, right? For bending the card to get into this beautiful effect, which is right there in the center of the book. Um, this beautiful book, Expert Card Technique by Jean Hugard and Frederick Bray. So, that's that. Guys, I hope you had a blast of a time. Cody Lee said, thanks for the stream. I let, uh, I'll set a reminder and tune into the next one. Awesome. The next one is going to be about uh, another chapter where um, Hugard and Rui just the throw in kind of you know um not really random but yeah kind of random it's miscellany um and this is a um a, um a 10 no this is uh this is a very long it's 407 to 421 like we got your peeling cards making double face at shiners the spectators peak one will make six i don't know a lot of material i will um uh, get into this you best prepare yourselves by reading the chapter beforehand we're going into there it will just make the whole session richer for you guys i um i'm super excited thank you so much everybody for tuning in on this freaking hot day i don't know how the weather is in your area um <clears throat> i just repeating myself at that point um i was just uh i i, I was just it's just so hot anyways I'm, I'm grabbing myself a code one in the cornerstone down below afterwards and I'm calling it a day or maybe I will um, um, f edit, keep on editing the tutorials I shot. There's going to be a tutorial and this is coming this Friday on how to deal cards in preparation for the second and bottom deal. So a proper dealing technique, which you should immediately embed in your every day or every whenever you deal cards, dealing cards. And then next Tuesday, it's going to be the tutorial on the up the ladder cut, um, table cut, false cut, a super cool false cut, which is also here in the book. There's going to be an Patreon exclusive where I'm going to um, talk a little bit f about the dealing technique once again in preparation for the double and um, um, bottom deal why this techniques I show on the YouTube tutorial are spe in specifically so important for uh, for the second and the double deal and then I'm I, I, I we're gonna meet Tuesday then whenever it is in two weeks for Miss Kalani and then I don't know there I 
I'm planning to um, rearrange my room a little bit. I also want to do a little bit of coins. I want to shoot some um, Patreon exclusives. I, I want to finally come down uh, with these performances I've been just uh, planning to shoot for years now, two years now. I'm just, you know, I'm not getting there um, because of all the tutorials and all the, the live streams and all the rest of my life. But just watching these... Um, um, performances years ago, um, also to um, to see the progress that's inspired me just to to shoot some performances again. So there's a lot of stuff coming till the end of the year. Please stay safe, stay sound, take care. You know, in these crazy times, and keep the spirit up. Right, you guys are rocking awesome. We got. Um, are you guys tuning in saying, um, Aaron Dering say thanks for the fun, ca fun and cards. Thanks so much. And, uh, by the way, guys, um, Aaron is now, um, also official, uh, officially an odd maniac. Um, Aaron, you can, um, meet everybody in discord link is in the info cards. Um, see there night sky says great time night sky. Great. You're there. Mega hook Hogan fan. Thank you. Good, sir. Thank you, Mega Hulk Hogan fan. Dennis Taylor, thanks for Marius. Cheers and clung. And then we have good Cody Lee. Ha, go have a beer, man. You put in a good shift. And Mark da Poyan, Poland, po is it an L or an E? Marco. Marco from Italy, just tuning in. Marco, it's time for us to go. Great, you're tuning in. Now you can watch the whole thing from the very beginning. If you're interested, um, there was one more thing and I forgot it already. Anyways, it's going to be all right. It's everything's going to be all right. Now, you know the drill, guys. You keep practicing and you practice well and it will come to you. And the objective is to become the magician that only you can become. And it's a great journey. And I'm uh, I'm glad you're on the road with us. Uh, this is freaking amazing. My name is Ob Marius. It's just what I do. I'm out for tonight. Have a good one. See you around soon. You know, you can rest assured, more magical stuff is going to be uploaded very, very soon. Odd Mario's Magic. Like and subscribe. And don't bend the queens too hard, okay, guys? <laughs>